In the heart of Northside nightlife and culture is a first in Illinois. Sway is a feeling, it's a vibe. With bright colors and array of lights, Sway is the first dispensary in this always active neighborhood. It's the culmination of black and brown communities and LGBTQ communities um, coming together um, for cannabis. Edie Moore is not only a co-owner of Sway, but an advocate for modernizing laws. For me, it's about access and not having access to legal cannabis. Though overall sales have dropped since recreational cannabis was legalized four years ago in Illinois, new dispensaries continue to open. But out of the 155 in Illinois so far, Sway is the first to be gay, BIPOC, Latino. So we're a bunch of all different, uh, all different minorities all working together to bring something wonderful to, uh, to this part of uh, Chicago. <laughs> For years, Art Johnston and Jose Pepe Pena have worked to document gay history and in doing so have become a part of it. Good morning. In 2022, thousands of people saw the documentary on their lives at film festivals across the country. And part of that history is in cannabis. When HIV hit San Francisco and people needed the benefits of cannabis, Gay men in San Francisco would open illegal dispensaries and provide their friends who were sick with cannabis. The faces on the wall here reflect that history. Those who have fought criminalization and the social equity license in Illinois that made Sway possible with all minority owners. We're so excited about bringing Sway to this community. Her hope is to bring Sway to other parts of Chicago. As a native Southsider, I would like to see our next um, facility open there. Sway is expected to open in the next week. In Lakeview, Sean Lewis, WGN News.